I'm going to do a quick tutorial just to show how to use the Mirror Translate Rotate tool from Bonus Tools. Uh, it's under the Bonus Tools menu, assuming you have it installed, under Modify, and we have a simple little utility called Mirror Translate Rotate Values. You open that up and you get a simple little window with your three axes and then options for either mirroring translate or rotate. <coughs> So what we can do here, simple example, is say for instance I take this object and I rotate it 90 degrees to the left, or negative 90 degrees. If I turn on mirror across X, then it's going to copy that mirror basically. Now, if I were to go in and do something a little bit more exaggerated, like actually you know, freeform rotation, then you can see I get these kind of um, obscure values here, which are kind of hard to go in and mirror manually, so if I just apply this in an automated fashion, then it mirrors the appropriate channels correctly and it intelligently figures out which axes need to be mirrored and or inverted in order to make this a natural mirror. So let's go back to the beginning here and let's pull this object off to the side and I'll add a little bit of rotation here. And you can see here that if I add some rotation and then I mirror, it's only going to mirror locally along its own axis. If I turn on translate, however, it will also mirror the translation values. So it will basically mirror not only rotation, but also translation. Now you can turn rotation off, and it will mirror the translation only without doing the rotation. Now this does work with multiple objects as well. So if I were to go in here and say control D and just kind of pull this across and then add a little bit of rotation and then just do my shift D, and do something like this where I'm getting kind of a fanning effect. Now let's say that I wanted to basically invert that across this axis, then I can basically turn on translate rotate, set my axis and apply, and the rotation of those all get um, inverted al along that axis. So I can do this of course with a copy as well, so if I just control D and apply, now I'm going to get copies and those copies will have the appropriately inverted translation and rotation, or mirror it, I should say. So it's a very handy little utility, very simple and straightforward, but something that in Maya by default would require you to manually change the values, which can be quite tedious, whereas this just automates it very quickly.